Hello YouTube, what is up? This is Zora, and I'm bringing you another Pokemon X and Y battle, and this is a guy uh, against a guy named Cameron, and um, I had six Pokemon with me originally, but he only had five, so I wanted to be fair, and I'll play at an advantage, so I used five, so I just took out one Pokemon, and this battle was really fun and enjoyable, it was cool. So, um, yeah, it was really awesome. I mean, um, it was kind of close. It was pretty close, and it was really interesting. Alrighty then. So, I'm going to be using Klefki, Bayonet, Trevenant, Delphox, and, uh, I don't know how to say that, Glacier Pokemon, Avalanche, Avalanche, I don't know. And he's using Xerneas, Blaziken, Noctowl, a Scizor, and Gengar, and, um, when I was battling, I didn't know if he was going to use Mega Gengar or Mega Blaziken, so... It's okay, I, I had something to start off with that can take them, kind of cripple them. Alright, so, um, let's get started. Alright, so, um, yeah, it's just against this random dude. So, I start off with my Keyblade, and he starts off with his Gengar, so... I didn't know what he was running, so... Uh... He chose the Mega Gengar, and I had the perfect way to get rid of that fast guy. And I just go for the Thunder Wave. And, um... I can't really switch out, because I want to, because of the build called Shadow Tag, I guess. So it wouldn't let me escape, so I just started setting up my spikes, and... Um, I was hopefully trying to get the Parahax... But I don't, but he hit me with the Hex, which is weird. I thought he would hit me with the Shadow Ball, and I'm on low health. But I rest up to recover my health so I can, you know, add more layers. And, um, uh, my Keyblade's holding a Chesto Berry, so I was able to wake up next turn. And, um, he goes for the Thunderbolt. And, um, I'm just gonna go for another layer of Spikes. So, um,. Yeah, and then, um, I got a Parahax here, which is pretty nice, which means I can set up uh, another layer of spikes. So now I have three layers of spikes, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, if you ask me, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> and I get another Parahax, and I'm just like, I'm just getting lucky, and I'm just gonna go for the draining kiss, whatever. I can't do anything else, because I can't switch out, so. And, you know what, now that I think about it, I think maybe it's better if I just put the foul play on Clef Key. I think it would just... I would have taken away, it would have got rid of this Mega Gengar, and I wouldn't have to lose my Keyblade to the darkness. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep on going for the Draining Kiss, and he's just gonna, I think he's just gonna finish me off here with my Thunderbolt. And no, my Clef, please, gone. The key to my freedom is gone. <laughs> so I'm just gonna send out my Scarlet, or my Delphox, and he's going to. Re and he sends out his Noctowl and I just went for the side shock so I'm pretty sure I can hit anything that comes out with it and it did a really good job so I'm just gonna Calm Mind right here and Calm Mind looks pretty cool I love the animation of it it's like so intense so I'm gonna Calm Mind up here and he's gonna go for the fly and well I can't really hit him now that he's gone so I don't want to take a hit from fly I don't know how much it will do since my Delphox is pretty fragile, so I send out my Titanic, and I'm, he hits me with the fly, and I take it really well, I mean, that did nothing to me, <laughs> you're talking to the guy who sunk the Titanic, <laughs> it's not gonna hurt me, and so he's gonna go for the Zen Headbutt, and I guess he's just gonna stay in, because, well, he's on low health, so I'm just gonna go for the Avalanche, and take out his Noctowl, so that went well, and... I guess not much of a wise guy now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get my leftovers up right here. And then he I don't remember what he switched out. Oh yeah, he puts out his Xerneas. And um I don't really know if his Xerneas is a special attacker, I'm pretty sure it is. But I don't remember if I switch in or not. No no no, I switch out, yeah, yeah, yeah I switch out. I remember. No, I'm just kidding guys, I really don't remember what I did after this. Okay, I sent out my Dooku tree, or my Trevenant. 
and he goes for the moon blast. And I put some EVs in my special defense and HP, and that actually took away a lot. So I'm like, oh wow. And he goes for the horn leech, and I'm like, oh no, I am a low health, so I don't know what to do right here. So um, uh, I forgot I'm carrying the rocky helmet, so I'm just gonna go for the phantom force, just cause. I'm such on low health, and yeah, and he goes for the psychic, but you know, I'm not there. And then Phantom Force comes out, and Phantom Force just looks so cool, it just looks like a sneak attack. So, uh, he's going for the psychic, and I think he takes me out with it. Yeah, he takes me out, and he gets a crit. I don't really know if that crit matters or not, but either way, I knew I was going to lose that tree. Damn tree killers. So then I go back for my Scarlet, and um, I know Horn is grass attack, so it looks like that's the only physical attack he has, so I'm pretty sure I can resist it. So I'm going to go for the Calm Mind and Calm my, myself up. And he's going for the Moon Blast, which I don't know why, but it doesn't take out that much. I mean, I took it pretty well. So then he retreats with Cernius, and he sends out Blaziken, which I don't know why, because I'm pretty sure I'm faster than... It's Blaze again, but ah, I should have saw it coming. But I went for Flamethrower anyways, just cause it's stab and I calm minded. And I know I'm faster, so I'm just gonna side shock and take this Blaze again out because I know it's not gonna be a Mega. And he already had Mega Gengar, and then he sends back out his Mega Gengar, which um I'm pretty sure I'll be able to take it out, of course. And I'm pretty pretty much just gonna sweep the rest of his team with my uh, Del Fox. So I'm gonna side shock, take out his Toboscus, Toboscus, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, and take out his Mega Gengar. And then he sent out back Xerneas, but it's such on low HP, and my spikes just pretty much take it out. So he's out, and I think his last Pokemon is Scizor, and Scizor isn't gonna do anything to me, so uh, this is pretty much the game. Because I'm just going to take it out with the flamethrower. And even if you bullet punch me, it's not going to do anything to me. I resisted. And yeah. So that was the game. It was a pretty good game. I had fun enjoying it. So it was a good match. Uh, I had a lot of fun. And hopefully I'll find another battle. That was this fun. I didn't get to use my Mega Bayonet. It's just kind of shame. But <laughs> Mega Bayonet kind of scares me how it looks like when it comes out. It looks like it has tongues in its hands. Ooh, uh. Anyways, um, thank you YouTube for watching this video, um, I hope you all enjoy it, and, uh, hopefully I make, upload more YouTube videos. Alrighty then, um, you all have a good day, have good Poke Battles, and let's all become Pokemon Masters! <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. Nerd alert! Anyways, alright, I'll catch you all later, alright, laters!